Is it okay if collagen protein is my only protein source? I do think this is an important topic because many people use protein powder as one of, if not their only protein sources. And collagen protein is becoming extremely popular, which may inspire some people to choose a collagen protein powder rather than a different protein powder. With that being said, it was actually determined that no more than 36% of our protein should be coming from collagen peptides in order to maintain an adequate balance of the indispensable amino acids which are just nine amino acids that we are unable to synthesize within our body, therefore we must consume them within our diet. They're also referred to as the essential amino acids. And now the reason for this is because collagen is not considered a complete protein. This is because it is very low in a specific amino acid called tryptophan. Additionally, as mentioned in this review, it's also fairly low in specific sulfur-containing amino acids, such as methionine and cysteine. Therefore, if collagen is our only protein source, we may throw off the proper ratio of amino acids within the body. Additionally, as I mentioned, tryptophan is the limiting amino acid. Tryptophan is eventually converted into serotonin and then melatonin within the brain. Additionally, inside of the intestinal tract, when tryptophan is converted into serotonin, it increases gastric motility. And a serotonin deficiency is associated with delayed gastric emptying and marked constipation. The other thing to mention is that when comparing whey protein to collagen protein, collagen does not increase short-term and long-term muscle protein synthesis nearly as effective as whey protein. And if collagen protein is your only protein source, you're likely not getting a sufficient amount of all of the essential amino acids, which can decrease both muscle recovery and muscle growth. I won't say this is particular to collagen protein because only using one specific source of protein as your only protein source always comes with certain negatives. Whether it's not getting enough of some amino acids or getting too much of other amino acids. Therefore, it's almost always recommended to diversify your protein intake and get protein from different sources. And this doesn't even necessarily mean high protein foods in general. We can find certain amino acids and some protein in virtually any food that we consume. Therefore, diversifying your diet enough and ensuring you're getting enough protein in general is almost always a good idea. And when it comes to collagen, because it's not considered a complete protein, I do think it is a good recommendation not to exceed 36% of protein from collagen protein. And there's actually a lot of emerging evidence that collagen protein is no better than whey protein or another high quality protein source when it comes to the production of bodily proteins. And this is because almost all proteins provide all of the amino acids necessary to produce collagen. Therefore, given our diet is high enough in protein, there is no benefit from exceeding the amount of these amino acids we can derive from virtually any high quality protein. But if you like your collagen protein powder, there's no reason to stop it. Just diversify your protein sources a little bit more. With that being said, if you'd like to learn how to take control of your health and energy, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.